Welcome back again and you watch new music and I done tonight we're in conversation with your favorite singer Sharmin Khan. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight we have some absolutely fantastic musician with us, especially on tabla as you can see. He's been playing tabla for a long, long, very long time. He was part of music and at that once upon a time then he took a break and now he decided he can come back and we thought okay we'll take you back on board ladies and gentlemen that's Piyash Barua for you guys Piyash thank you for coming to Music Canada on Octopad once again uh, it's just a talent full of talent ladies and gentlemen a very young very talented working really hard to earn his bread and butter because he loves music that's Rizwan Ahmed for you guys Rizwan thank you so much for coming to Music Canada on guitar motivator um, guitarist and a joker ladies and gentlemen that's Omi Stump for you Omi thank you very much for coming to music and Adda. behind me um, well um, it's Pritam Ahmed he's not in a very good mood today because he's got some issues uh, however please pray for him uh, pray for his family uh, because one of his uh, family member is in hospital and they are uh, uh, serious or uh, suffering from <laughs> serious illness so do pray for his family members and him. Pritham, uh, thank you very much for coming to music and uh, then of course we're in conversation with the lovely, the beautiful lady here, Sharmin Khan. Sharmin, sadly this is this, the last segment of the show uh, and we have to say goodbye in this segment but before we do that I just want to find out that, I mean you, you've worked in India You've, worked, you've now working in the UK in the music industry. You've also had the opportunity to work in Bangladesh. Firstly, India is our neighboring country. They're doing so well in different fields from sports to movies to singing and whatever you name it. Their culture is also different to us. What are the main differences you feel in terms of the culture between Bangladesh and India? I guess it's mostly the same, the culture, but we are good in our way, they're good in their way, you know. There's so many uniqueness in our culture and so many uniqueness in their culture. Like I want to say Bengalis are very hospitable, you know, you go to any Bengali person's home, they make you feel at home, you know, they treat you absolutely like, you know, you are like some kind of God. So that's how the treaty is. The only Bengalis do that, I guess. So I guess you're world. talking about us here as well. Yeah, you I come mean to the Bangladeshi, house. you know. <laughs> yeah, and uh. Indian, they're good in their way. Their culture is very unique. Mm -hmm. And I cannot say enough because you can learn so much from them. They're so unique. I mean, they're open to all other culture with the same time. They value their culture so much. That's the thing that I like the most. What I really want to know is, in terms of uh, a singing industry, mm -hmm. you know, Indian um, Bollywood music is huge. It's Basically. all over the world. Mm -hmm. Everyone knows. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, um, it's really it, it's really nice to see that they're doing well when they go to O2 or wherever they perform in mm -hmm. it's full house. Yeah. You know? Why do you think they're doing so well in the music industry? What are the main reasons? Well, I guess it's the Bollywood right now because of they got the technology. Mm that we are lacking behind is the technology that we lack so are you in saying terms that of producing movies music name it they nail the market with the of course they have talent they've got so many ideas to produce me movies you know this this like it's showing all over the world everyone you know even people who don't speak the language when they love to watch their movies absolutely so you can n see how much they've nailed all the other cultures like you, you know different foreign places and it's the I mean not only the brains behind it I think you need technology I think you know one of my friends she's <laughs> Polish um, and I happened to um, at a party at their place so mm -hmm. they invited me to go there and I was at the party mm -hmm. but the music they were playing was from a movie uh, called Kuch Kuch Hota Hai yeah. and, and Kal Hona Ho and, and, and all that stuff but how soon do you feel that we can create this sort of market and go there introduce mm -hmm. our music? Well I think it's the marketing that we need to do marketing and I'm not saying Bangladesh Bengalis don't have talent definitely we are gifted with the music 
forget about movies. Let's just say we've got we've produced good musicians. I mean, uh, R. D. Burman, Kishore Kumar. Name all the Bollywood musicians, the greatest ones from Bangladesh, like the Bengali. Runa Lala, so Sabina Yasmin. Yeah, I mean, of course they are. You know, legend are the in their own legend. They're the they are proud, like we are proud of them because we still have them in our border, <laughs> like <laughs> not outside the border. <laughs> but but they have worked there and they They've produce some wonderful other, music yes. there. Anyway, let's listen to your music. Which which one? Absolutely. Gonna, which one we're gonna? Uh, I'm gonna on. sing. Um, Agar tu mil jao.
beautiful. Um, <coughs> when he came to UK, how did he get back to music again? Oh, I was in an event where I spotted by late Milton Bay. Milton Akbar? Uh, Milton Akbar. Fantastic guy he it's was. Such a, um, it's such a loss that we don't have him anymore. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, I do miss you. Uh, Milton yeah. Akbar, you are part of a huge team exactly. here, Music Canada, and of course your father, what a gentleman mm -hmm. he was, a legendary actor for Bangladesh. Mm -hmm. uh, we miss you, we will miss you always. Thank you for giving us uh, mm -hmm. such a wonderful movies from your dad and, and from you, wonderful music. Yeah. So, for Milton Akbar, you, you came to the industry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he introduced me to events and he didn't invited me to uh, sing to different bands and that's how I got to know, you know, build up the network. Well, you, you, by you, going didn't, you didn't get involved with the Bangladeshi uh, community yeah. as much. Uh, now you're doing a lot of shows with uh, Indian communities and uh, you're making music with them, you've done a video with them. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just that I, I want to find out, I mean, what happened there, how we can sort of work together uh, uh, and then make new music. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what happened? How did you end up going to uh, Indian community? It just happened because I am a big fan of Lata Mangeshkar and I love to sing classical because, you know, I this is my passion. Uh, it's the love of, you know, she's a great, great singer and then I happen to sing Bollywood songs where I get noticed by the events, the other singers as well. So they start inviting me to their events and that's how I started singing at their events. You know? Well, you know what, <laughs> it's really good to know that you yeah. are Dean and, yeah, and you're working there. It's wonderful because if you've got yeah. the talent, uh, yeah. it doesn't matter. I mean, myself, I faced a lot of questions from this community, these people, yeah. they call me, they are on Facebook, social media, whatever, they say, why are we doing a, a program where a lot of Indian singers are coming, they sing an Indian song, and I said, look, if you love the music, you love the music, exactly. that's it. On that note, we're gonna have to say goodbye for today. Um, do you have anything to say before we say goodbye? Well, thank you very much for having me, <laughs> and it was an absolute pleasure um, it was a very, very lovely evening. Thanks to all the musicians. They've worked really well and, uh, you know, they're brilliant at what they do. Uh, we're going to go home with your song. Uh, okay. Before I do that, it's time for me to say goodbye. Dear viewers, um, we're running out of time right now, so please do watch us every Friday at 11 p.m. Repeat on Saturday at 3 p.m. www.europentv.com is your home. Do write to us, whether it's positive or negative, we'd like to hear from you and our email address is on your screen. And don't forget, for the final time, 14th of May, Boishaki Mela, the biggest Mela in UK after Notting Hill Festival. So please do come down. It's taking place Sunday, 14th of May, uh, Weaversfield, London, Belfort Green, E2. See you there. This is uh, a tribute to the late Lucky Akhand, uh, who's no more, and we miss him. He'll be always um, with us, with his creation, which is music. His last song is uh, a tribute to Lucky Akhand. <laughs>
Eu zic